Quiet on the set. Quiet. Keep them rolling. Roll bell. Rolling real high. Are you going yet? Yes. Okay. Still rain and wind and wind. Sasha, timeless traveler here at Space City Con for Oldness. And sitting next to me are Robert O'Reilly and J.G. Hertzler. These two, two, two actors in one. So both of you have been in the sci-fi genre many, many times. What draws you to this, the storylines? You, Sasha. Why else would anybody go into theater? It's because so that's where you. the most beautiful women are. No matter what planet you're on, doesn't matter. Are, are you from this planet? You go to the college. By the way, you you come to this planet world. very often. You will find the most beautiful women in the theater. The fabulous okay. actor. A little bit of dementia. No. Not bad though. Not bad. It's getting better. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I'm getting much better. But, but when he is, he'll let you know. <laughs> yes. Right? Well, you'll see. My head will go, you know, down on this, unless I'm having an argument with Julie Caitlin Brown. Even if he's eating spaghetti, his head will still go down in the spaghetti plate. Which is rather comedic for a dead man to die in a spaghetti plate. Never get, you never, never, get know, into, never get into a debate with Julie Caitlin Brown in Germany while having spaghetti. It's my only piece of advice for you young actors out there. <laughs> and geeks in general. What have been some of your favorite roles that you've played? That would also, well, that would be I you, like whole wheat Sasha. Myself. That was always my favorite kind of role. Roll whole wheat? Uh, yes, whole wheat roll. Whole wheat yes. for years. Well, and then I just, I'm yeah. fed up with it. And you got plain rolls. I moved on to baguettes. Oh, baguettes. Yes, yeah, sourdough. Baguettes are very good. They're a little bit too buttery for me. You have to have them with orange You've juice only. You've got to back on butter. Yes, you do. Yes. Well, yeah. Unless they're cooked I with olive oil. I can't have too much butter because you know I'm Amish. Well, we thrive on butter, salt, and sugar. So it's what was a new the, style what, Sasha, Irish country. the question was... What are your favorite roles that you've played oh, in this right. sci-fi? <laughs> that's where we got to whole wheat. Um, favorite roles in sci-fi? Oh, the attorney. The attorney... Oh, I like you in the lawyer. attorney. Yeah, the Klingon lawyer. Yeah, that was a good role. Yeah, you were sort of mouthy in that. But you had a very good job. You didn't, isn't that the role that you had no, to fight? Side. You had to fight that lady who... Uh, no, that was in... Who that pulled was, her... That was in Tsunkati. In Voyager. Oh. Seven of nine. Oh, that was a good role, I had to too. spend the whole day wrestling with Jerry Ryan. And you got paid for it. <laughs> and I got paid for it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Now, my favorite role in sci-fi was I played a South American general who took over a hospital on General Hospital. That was my favorite sci-fi role. First of all, me playing a South American general uh, with a Spanish accent. Which is what he always wanted to do anyway <laughs> in life. Yes. And me taking over a hospital. How about you, Bob? I don't know. The best role? The, the sci-fi, though. It's... Oh, sci-fi. Well, it could be Garon, it could be um, uh, Max Headroom, the mad bomber that I played. That was futuristic, but true. And sci-fi, uh, sci-fi. Um, what about the uh, baseball player? You can't get more fictional than that, huh? <laughs> well, let's ask, let's ask you, grown, Sasha. Grown. What's your favorite role in sci-fi? I what? am currently dressed as Clara, so I quite as like Clara? the Clara. Clara. The, the impossible girl from Doctor Who. Oh, the impossible girl. That's possible. It totally is possible. Impossible. That she could be the sort of an off-putting word, isn't it? Impossible. She's impossible. That's what you are. You're not possible because we're too old. I think that about wraps it up. You got one good question out. We didn't answer it. And let's, now we're moving on. And, and and that's been the best interview ever done with us, ever in lifetime. My lifetime, anyway. Oh, good. Oh. My name's J.G. Hertzler. How are you? <laughs> that's your now, line, will she? Now or never, you'll Come back on the reel? Steal thy fearful thoughts, change must doubt to resolution, Sasha. Or be thou what thou hopes to be. For what thou art resigned to death, it is not worth the enjoying. Well, should I stand in the plague of custom and Let permit the curiosity of the mean born man and find no harbor in a royal heart? Fourteen moon child, the bag of a brother, what bastard? Well, no base. Moves, well, when my dimensions are as well to send me packing with a host of men. Ah! 
'Twas men I lacked, and you were given me. I take it kindly, yet put well assured that I and the last he said that have weapons take more in a madman's hands. And in a dull state Whilst I in Ireland go to the nourish a mighty bag, I will stir up in England some black storm shall blow ten thousand souls to heaven or hell. And that fell tempest shall not cease to rage until the golden circuit upon my head, like to the glorious sun's transparent beams, do calm the fury of this mad bred flaw. And for a minister of my intent. <laughs> 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 I was willing to give him a compliment.